pushes and pulls. Any object near the Earth or on the Earth's surface is pulled downwards by gravity. The downwards force created is known as weight. Forces are measured in newtons. The force pulling downwards on a one kilogram mass on the Earth is about 10 newtons. We say that the gravitational field strength on the Earth is about 10 newtons per kilogram. Other objects in space, planets, stars, moons, also exert a force of gravity. The bigger the object, the bigger the force of gravity. The moon is much smaller than the Earth, so it produces a smaller gravitational force. Its gravitational field strength is less. If you could walk on the moon, you would feel much lighter than on the Earth. If the movement of any object is not changing, then the forces on that object must be balanced. The forces on an object that is perfectly still must be balanced. The forces on an object that is moving, but it is not speeding up, slowing down or changing direction, must also be balanced. If a ship is floating on water, there is a downwards force acting on the ship. This is the weight. If the ship is not to sink, there must also be an upward force. This is called the upthrust. If a car is travelling over a bridge, there is a downwards force. This is the weight. If the bridge is not to collapse, then it must produce an upwards force. This upwards force must be the same size but in the opposite direction to the downwards force. A crane does not topple over, even when it is lifting a heavy load. The force produced by the load is balanced by the force from the counterweight. This counterweight is often a very large concrete block. When an object is falling through the air, it is gravity or weight that provides the downward force. A falling object in the air does not get faster and faster as it falls. Any falling object reaches a maximum speed. This is known as the terminal velocity. The terminal velocity of a person in free fall is about 120 miles an hour. The reason an object reaches a terminal velocity is because as an object moves through the air, there is a force in the opposite direction to the movement of the object. This is called drag or air resistance. The faster an object moves, the bigger the drag or air resistance. This is because the object has to push more air out of the way. When the downwards force, the weight, and the upward force, the drag, are balanced, then the speed at which an object is falling will not increase. It will have reached its terminal velocity. The speed or velocity of an object is a measure of the distance it moves in a given time. In everyday life we tend to think in terms of miles per hour, as this is how we measure the speed of a car. In science we often think of speed in meters per second. If a car was travelling at a speed of 70 miles an hour, the speed limit on a motorway, it would take one hour to travel 70 miles. In half an hour or 30 minutes it would travel 35 miles in two hours it would travel 140 miles. Many car accidents happen because some people drive too fast. The faster a car travels the longer it will take to stop. The stopping distance of a car traveling at 40 miles an hour is 36 meters 118 feet or about nine car lengths. Many roads in built up areas or near schools have many devices to get people to drive more slowly. These include speed cameras, speed bumps and chicanes. If people in cars do have accidents they are often well protected by seat belts, airbags and cars that are built to withstand impacts. Unfortunately people who are hit by cars are not so lucky. 
Objects such as the Space Shuttle travel incredibly fast. When in orbit, the shuttle is travelling at about 17,000 miles an hour. The Space Shuttle was a reusable spacecraft that completed its first mission in 1981. It has been used to put many satellites into orbit, including the International Space Station. The Space Shuttle had three main parts, the two solid rocket boosters, SRBs, the external tank and the orbiter. The astronauts lived and worked in the orbiter. The orbiter and the solid rocket boosters were reused on future missions. The orbiter landed like an aircraft. The most famous mission ever is probably Apollo 11. On the 24th of July 1969, this mission succeeded in landing two astronauts on the moon. There were three astronauts altogether, Michael Collins, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. It was Neil Armstrong who was the first person to set foot on the moon.